The development of humanoid robots marks an exciting phase in the history of robotics, opening up endless horizons of possibilities. This field of science and technology is rapidly advancing, bringing us closer to the creation of intelligent machines capable of interacting with the surrounding world and humans on a deeper level. Humanoid robots have the potential to become indispensable assistants in various spheres of our lives. Developed countries such as the USA, Japan, Korea, China, and many others have begun mass-producing humanoid robots. Each country aims to become a leader in the production of humanoid robots. According to the plans of most countries, mass production of ultra-realistic humanoid machines is scheduled to be established by 2025. In this video, we will explore how the most realistic humanoid robots in the world are created and discuss what they are capable of. And we will start our video from China, where robots are already being created to mimic humans down to the details of veins and goosebumps on the skin. China has long been a global leader in everything related to technology, whether it be artificial intelligence, virtual reality, or robotics. When it comes to China, it can confidently be said, the future is already here. Let's transport ourselves to the Chinese city of Dalian, Liaoning province, to a place where robots are indistinguishable from humans. Not long ago, the EX Future and Science Museum opened there, featuring exhibits created by EX Robots Company. But this is not ordinary museum. Essentially, it's a factory housing a research and development department, as well as production and assembly lines for bionic robots capable of creating realistic and incredibly accurate replicas of any museum visitor. The Chinese company EX Robots specializes in the research and development of humanoid robots. The company was founded in 2009. In 2016, the company began researching humanoid robots. And as we mentioned earlier, the company recently opened the first robot museum in China. The team consists of 115 people, including about 30 developers. EX Robots specializes in research and development, production, sales, and maintenance of intellectual bionic humanoid robots. The company's abilities include celebrity robots, cute cartoon-like promoter robots, and pole dancing robots to attract customers to bars and clubs. Robots play a role in many areas, from service industries and trade shows to scientific and popular events. But most of all, they are used in business. In the future, the company plans to focus on customers, especially in the field of early childhood education and childcare. Each robot is unique and designed to look as realistic as possible. To create a replica robot, a person is scanned using a high-precision 3D scanner. It's enough to scan the user's head and hands because, for now, robots have a universal body differing only by gender. Gynoids or female robots have slimmer bodies than male ones, but on the hands, face, and other exposed parts of the body, such as robot legs, in the improvised Creo cameras displayed in the museum, the accuracy and detail reach a fantastic level. Vein patterns, lines on palms, goosebumps on the skin, all of this is reproduced from medical silicone on a 3D printer with frightening realism. The creators are also working to make touching the robot feel like touching a human. Creating a humanoid robot takes from three to six months. Many operations need to be performed, the first involves developing a human voice. Next, it's necessary to deal with 3D printing, scanning, manufacturing mechanical equipment, and applying bionic coatings. The final operation involves using a control system to edit the robot's movements. The most difficult part of creating a humanoid robot is undoubtedly designing the mechanical structure. Compared to many industrial robots on the market, the company's equipment is very small, especially for gynoids. After obtaining body shape data, the internal structure is designed according to the specified shape. The process of placing a dozen small equipment parts in a narrow space is quite challenging. Moreover, both natural and smooth movements similar to human movements need to be ensured. Robots can be controlled. Users can use the app to change the robot's facial expression or gloves to gesture with their hands. Robots resemble humans not only externally. The robot also has video tracking, which means that when someone stands in front of him, the robot will look straight at that person. Additionally, the robot can express joy or sadness, stick out its tongue, or make sad eyes. Essentially, EX Robot's feature is to create robots that are as human-like as possible. Their silicone skin is almost indistinguishable from ours, and they can perform many roles in our society, including in medicine, service industry, and education. The videos on the EX Robot's channel, where robot beauties mimic and repeat the movements of communicating girls, are becoming viral. 
EX Robots reports that it can already produce 2,000 such humanoids annually. There is no doubt that the coexistence of humans and robots is the future we should strive for. Robots can perform many tasks at a human level. They will be integrated into all areas. One day robots will become ubiquitous. The company has also opened a hardware platform to make robots more intelligent. This is done to attract more people, especially from the business sector, to join the company for the full integration of robots into our lives. Would you like to visit such a museum or make your own robot replica? Write your answer in the comments and we move on. Let's move to South Korea, where the mass production of humanoid robots has caused a stir on the internet pages. The conveyor with realistic humanoids was launched by the Korean company Am Service Gluck, and the robots themselves are intended for an animatronic installation in the local brand of designer glasses, Gentle Monster, where they will mimic a robotic assembly line. All robot parts were 3D printed using SLA wide format technology with extremely realistic surface finishing. An urethane coating was also applied to ensure the durability of the photopolymer parts. The company applied a very high resolution texture to reproduce even the pores of the skin on the face of each humanoid, and extensive post-processing was required to achieve a completely realistic skin color. The process of producing humanoid robots using a 3D printer consists of several stages. First, the robot design is created. Engineers design 3D models of the robot using computer-aided design software. Next, they determine the size and quantity of materials, as well as the functionalities and capabilities of the robot. The next stage is preparing the 3D printer. It needs to be set up and calibrated for the manufacturing process, which may include installing necessary materials and ensuring the printer's proper operation. Once all the preparatory work is completed, robot printing begins. On the 3D printer, the body, limbs, and other components of the robot are printed from various materials, such as plastics, metals, or composite materials. Then comes the assembly process. After the individual parts of the robot are printed, they need to be assembled into one mechanism. This may include attaching limbs to the body, installing motors and sensors, as well as performing necessary wiring or soldering. After assembly, a series of tests are conducted to ensure that it functions correctly and meets the required specifications. If necessary, the design can be modified and the robot can be reprinted and reassembled until a satisfactory result is achieved. Unfortunately, despite their ultra-realistic appearance, the robots are currently only art objects and completely non-functional. However, for drawing the world's attention to robotics, they have earned a special place in our selection. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.